let's see all these voltages here in a real motherboard let's go to the practical part okay let me connect the adapter now i'm going to teach you and to show you the right voltage in every circuit of course once i have in the adapter as i told you once i have here as, I, as you see my friends we have here 19 0.5 for this adapter 19.5 volts okay so i will put the multimeter to 20 volts okay this is my multimeter i will choose 20 volt why 20 volts because the adapter is 19 volt point five you have to always select the higher modes or high voltage but if you have an auto range multimeter no worries you can just select auto range okay so right now my friends let's of course we're gonna respect our chart here all motherboard voltages we're gonna check basically the charge circuit first okay then 3 volt 5 volt circuit then ram circuit voltages and of course for ram circuits we're gonna find out which kind of ram circuit we have and then check those voltages here okay then cpu circuit the vcc core we're gonna check the vcc core and the vccp and this is the range for the VCC core between 0.7 volt and 1.2 volt. This is the VCCP. We're gonna check the PCH, we're gonna check the BIOS, the SIO. So without wasting time, my friends, let's get started. We have just 20 minutes or 15 minutes. Okay. In order to answer the comments. Okay, my friends, the multimeter is seated to to the right mode 20 volt let's begin with the charge circuit let's check the adapter okay the voltage let's begin from here my friends basically for the charge circuit always locate the battery connector okay or the power jack or the flexible cable here okay my friends and you can just check here outside okay let's see the, the multimeter just select here or just go to the first switch in the motherboard we have 19 volts this is good so the main voltage is present here also for the charge i see if we check the serum capacitors around the charge i see we can't find also 19 volts because 19 volts is the work voltage for the charge i see okay my friends here i have the charge i see we find here 19 volt why because the working voltage for this i see is 19 volts that's why we have here 19 volts good so we check the charge i see or we check the main voltage What's next let's see our chart so guys here for the circuit we check it good let's move on to 3 volt 5 volt circuit and check 3.3 volt and 5 volt okay as i told you we locate the 3 volt and 5 volt circuit always we duplicate the chart here we have 5 volt in this inductor and we have here 3.3 volts you see 3.3 volts 5 volt so the 3.3 volt circuit also is good so my friend also we find the volt the voltages are good okay let's move on to the ram circuit so for the RAM circuit, my friends, we have this table. Let's first check which kind of RAM we have. So 
here basically my friends if you check here we have here as you can see ddr3 ddr3 okay guys this, this working principle is applicable for all kind of laptops this is just the sample okay this is the sample but the same working principle the same chart the same working principle for all kind of laptop if i teach you one laptop don't mean just this one this is just a sample apply this for all kind of laptops so we have ddr3 my friends here let's check we have ddr3 so we have to find 1.5 volts for the main voltage 0.75 volt as vtt and also 1.8 volt for buses okay remember my friends for ddr3 1.5 volt 0.75 volt 1.8 volt let's check it out okay the black probe in the ground here the ram is here my friends okay we have the nearest coils to the ram means the ram circuit here we have this one and here we have this one if we check this one we have 1.8 volts okay this is the first voltage if we check this one we have 1.5 volt the second voltage okay so for vtt let's check any serum capacitor here we have 0 0.74 or 75 okay my friends 1.5 0 0.75 74 and 1.8 volt so my friends for and of course this is ddr ddr3 so good here for ddr3 my friends we find 1.5 volt we find 0.75 volt for termination and we find 1.8 volt so for the ram this is good let's move on to the cpu circuit for the cpu circuit we have to find basically here we have the cpu we study the cpu here we have to find the vcc core about 0 0.7 between 0 0.7 volt to 1.2 volt okay so Please, my friend, remember that plus VCC core for the CPU, remember this, is between 0 0.7 volts and 1.2 volts, okay? This range could be different if you want to study all kinds of cpu i mean older cpu but here we study the newest cpu so let's check plus vcc code and check also the vccp 1.05 volts okay the black probe in the ground as always and here we have the cpu my friends okay if we check okay we have the cpu we have the pch and we have main inductors let's begin with this one for example 1.04 means 1.05 this one is the vccp the vccp for the cpu and also for the pch let's check this one we have 0 0.84 0.84 84 okay so this is guys 0.84 is vcc core as you can see 0.84 my friends is in this range 0.84 as you can see is in this range my friends good and we find 
1.05 volt for VCCT here we have 1.04 or 05 so VCCP is good okay my friends so for the CPU good I find all voltages are good for the CPU so let's mark the CPU the CPU also voltages are good we find the VCC core here we find the VCC let's see the PCH here we have the PCH let's check the PCH my friend for the PCH as I told you the same voltages as the processor we have the PCH it has 1.04 for VCCP and let's check this one this is basically the PCH circuit this one 1.06 so this is the main voltage for the PCH head and this is the VCCP so the PCH also is good okay my friends the voltage for the PCH we check the PCH it's fed it correctly Basically, we check this voltage, we find 1.06 here, okay, and we find VCCP and this voltage means the PCH is, is good. Let's move on to the BIOS, okay, my friends. Let's move on to the BIOS for the BIOS. As I told you, for the BIOS, here we have the BIOS in pin number 8, we have to find 3.3 volts, okay. So let's check the BIOS. Always the black probe in the ground. Let's locate the BIOS. Here we have the BIOS. Here we have this white mark. We have this dot here. Means this is the pin number one. Okay. Let's see like this. Here we have pin number eight. We have three point three volts. Okay. So the BIOS is fitted correctly. That's good. Okay. So for the BIOS, also is good. We find 3.3 volts. And 3.3 volts in pin number 8 is good. Nice. What else? We have the East IO, my friend. Here we have the East IO, the Super IO, the last one. For the Super IO, my friend, we have to find 3.3 volts. Not one, but we have to find many. 3.3 volt repeat 3.3 volt around the super IO. so let's check what is the super io here guys basically for this motherboard okay for this motherboard we have the ec and the super io but as you can see super io and ec what we have to do my friends is just to check the component around this ICs. If you find that 3.3 volt is around this ICs, means it's good, inputs are good, output are good. So let's begin for example from here, check this one, 3.3 volt in this thermal capacitor. Okay, here, 3.3 volt, here, 3.3 volt, do you see my friends? Okay, 3.3 volts. Okay, 3.3 volts. 3.3 volts. You see, 3.3 volts. 3.3 volts. 3.3 volts. Everywhere we have 3.3 volts, my friends. As you can see means what exactly it means that the inputs and the outputs for the SIO are good because the language my friend the language for the SIO is 3.3 volt okay so my friends <laughs> also the the SIO is serviceable okay so also the SIO will find 3.3 volts. Basically, let's assume this is SIO, hair inputs, hair outputs. Okay, hair inputs, hair outputs, 
head will have 3.3 volts. Many times, head will have 3.3 volts. Many times means the SIO is good. If the SIO, for example, is shorted, you will find zero. You will not find 3.3 volts like this. So the SIO also is good, my friend. So my friend, we check all motherboard voltages in this board. As you can see, please tell me in the comments, guys, please tell me in the comments if you enjoy this curse and this basically study about motherboard voltages. We studied here uh, as theory and we see also the motherboard. Please tell me in the comments right now. I will see the comment. If there is any question, I will answer it. Please don't forget to like, my friends.